And welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. It's just one more story to squeeze in. You all know it is a big year. It's an election year. And new hybrid electronic news gathering vehicles are being deployed uh, to all the SABC provinces, the nine provinces and all, and the regions. And uh, that will be done just in time for the elections. Now, our Seapoint officers have just received their vehicle. And the reporting teams there have been receiving training this week on how to operate the facility and also get to see firsthand what it can do. So let's cross over now to Cape Town, where our regional sports reporter, Craig Maria, is standing by to tell us more. Craig, good morning. It's over to you. Um, Vic. Very good morning, Sakina, and uh, to a, a cloudy and misty Cape Town. Still very beautiful, though. We're just in the Seapoint area, just past Seapoint in Bantry Bay. But we're not here to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about our new exciting facility, the hybrid ENG uh, vehicle um, that promises to revolutionize the way we do live crossings and broadcasting um, for, for the SABC um, news team. So our camera operators have been hard at work this week. They've been doing training. And to learn all of the facilities, all these features are on, on this, um, uh, this exciting um, um, new uh, ENG vehicle that promises to really revolutionize, especially when it comes to, to elections. And there's so many special um, features. It's very much um, that we'll be reporting and doing live crossings on the go. It's much better picture qu quality and a much better communications um, system as well. And to tell us more about it is uh, the two wonderful people that have been doing training all around the country and all the uh, uh, provinces. On the far side, we've got Kakisha Masela, and here we've got Nuka Matlong. Welcome, and thank you for all the training. We'll start with you, uh, Nuka. Um, just tell us, how would you describe this new facility? Um, how will I describe it is uh, it enables us to do a live broadcast like we're doing now but also it will be an office away from office so when you've got it somewhere doing a broadcast you are connected to SABC network emails you can transfer your files and you've got SABC telephony as well connected to the SABC network tell us about some of the the, the, the features that are that are on this vehicle that will obviously help so much with the live crossings and live broadcast one of the unique features is communication on the move, meaning you can transmit on the move while the van is going. Uh, the other new features, like I've said, from wherever you are, you can connect to the SABC network. And it also has uh, Wi-Fi connectivity which connects you to the SABC network and you're able to have uh, uh, comms on your phone as a cameraman and as a reporter. So yeah, that's the enhancements that this van uses. Thank you, thank you very much. And Kakisha, how, how, is, how is broadcasting actually going to work on, on, on the move while we're moving around? How, how are things actually going to work and operate? Thanks, Craig. Um, exciting times for us as SABC. Uh, uh, the comms on the move, the way it happens is the van is fitted with um, uh, there's a generator on board. There's also inverter uh, pulling from the second battery that is fitted here. So we have got two power supplies on board to enable video on the move. Uh, there is also this dome that you're seeing here. Inside the dome we have uh, sensors that enable um, fast uh, satellite acquisition and it also enables the tracking. So the, the, the dish, the dome or the antenna auto tracks itself. So it, we can do video on the move easily. And also we have the encoder. The encoder that we're using is using the 3G, 4G path and we also bond in that with the satellite path to give us a, a, a larger throughput or a bigger bandwidth so that we can deliver quality pictures. And how many people will it actually take to, 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 you know, to operate this facility? Um, this van really requires little input from the field user. Uh, so we don't really need a technical person to operate the van. So we can have just a camera operator and a journalist operating the van and it comes with everything like my, my colleague has alluded. Uh, it comes with comms, it comes with Wi-Fi, they can connect to their smartphones, they can even ingest from the van and FTP from the van itself. So wherever they go they will be able to, do, to have their office away from, from, from the office. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you for, for the training. I know the, the camera operators have been very busy. So very exciting times, um, light broadcast.
Um, live crossings also. Journalists will be able to package the story. By the time we actually get back to the office, the story will be on air, not just for television, for radio as well. We're we'll very excited for this with the elections coming up as well. Time now to go back to the studio. First time for an ad break.